Hi, today I'm going to do a pick a card reading for the month of August for your love lives. I am going into this kind of blank, whether you are single or in a relationship. I'll probably mostly go into the part of the reading that is for singles, I guess. So yeah, here are the cards. Pile number one is the Everyday Witch Tarot with this aragonite little rose. If it, it, it will focus, let me see, yes. I'm really intrigued with this little crystal. Pile number two is my Good Karma deck with the Golden Healer Crystal. Pile number three is the Angel Aura Quartz and the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck. And then pile number four is the Tarot of the Divine and this is Red Calcite. This is a crystal that I got in my cosmic box, which I will now do unboxings of on my TikTok and my Instagram. So these are the four piles. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So multiple people will tune into the same pile. Um, some things in the reading will, will resonate and other things won't. So I always say take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me through the links in the description box and in the pinned comment. So yeah, one more time, number one number two, number three, number four, and let's go into the reading. Hi, pile number one, you chose the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. I wonder if you have seen my Helping You Say Yes to deck by Lisa, where I was on actually, and that is where I chose this deck. So maybe that is the reason you picked this pile. I am very excited to do a reading with this because I haven't done a pick a card reading with this yet. <laughs> I was waiting for the episode to air so that I could actually show off this deck in person or in on camera. So let me shuffle, I already shuffled it. So uh, I also haven't asked a question yet. So come on, pile number one, what can you tell me for pile number one? regarding their love life in August. So, love life, pile number one, August. Let's start with these two. We have the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This is interesting. I feel like you might be at a place because the Ace of Swords is a card of breakthroughs, of finding out truths. If you have been almost in a tour relationship, if this might be for you if you are in a relationship or you've been kind of dating, but it's not really beneficial. There are gonna be some breakthroughs of truth that you're gonna find out. Um, you, either you have already found them out or you're gonna find them out in August and it's not pretty. The Five of Swords is a card where there is a lot of bullying, conflict, competition maybe. Um, so there, like like in the card, you can see that there seems to be some sort of competition. Um, there are people that aren't happy and there is somebody that is happy. I feel like this relationship, this um, thing that is going on, are there are multiple people involved. And either you are gonna try to win at all costs or you're gonna get hurt. Um, or somebody else is gonna get hurt. Either way, it's it's not pretty and I feel like you're gonna find out some truths in the month of August. So it might be that currently you are at a place where uh, the relationship is kind of toxic and not really necessarily the best thing for you. So I have two more cards. I have the King of Pentacles, who is somebody who has everything that they want in life. Look at him, he has his throne, he has a dog, a cow or a bull, he is an, even has his wine and his chocolate cake. What else? <laughs> what else could you want more? So I feel like you need to look further for this person. This is either who you want to be or this is the kind of person that you want to attract, somebody who has his life together and I don't feel you're there yet. The Nine of Cups is a card of contentment, being content and it being in reverse tells me that right now you are in a place where you are not feeling content about where you are, about maybe your relationship and things have to change. You are not, like, like I said, you are not in a place where you want to be right now and 
I feel like, let's see, what, what is it that you have to do? So we know right now you're not in the place where you need to be. This is more of the kind of person that you need to focus on. So let's see, what can you do to get closer? What can you do in the month of August to get you closer to the King of Pentacles? I have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. We have a lot of Pentacle energy here. We have, okay, so the Eight of Pentacles reverse shows some sort of perfectionism, overanalyzing, nit nitpicking. This could be that either you feel like nobody is good enough for you, or you are almost maybe thinking you you are not good enough. I don't know why that just pops into my head. Okay, so for some of you, this card means that you are nitpicking, you are overanalyzing everybody that you get into a relationship with, um, which is why you you are you are struggling because you feel like nobody's good enough for you. You don't feel like giving anybody a chance. But for some of you, it might also be that you feel like you are not good enough. And well, you know what? The large portion of August is Leo season. So channel your inner Leo, channel um, confidence. I feel like you, some of you might be lacking confidence. Then the three of pentacles reverse is about division, micromanaging, lack of communication. So that is um, a lesson that Okay, so the question that I asked and where I got these cards was what can you do in August to get you closer to your King of Pentacles? And I think that you can work on your communication, maybe even, I don't know why, I am thinking of a dating app. Either some of you need to start going on a dating app or if you have been going on a dating app, haven't really been having any luck, then maybe that is not the place where you're gonna find your 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 person you know and the other thing that you can do is try and look at why do you feel like you're not good enough why do you feel like an, an, the others aren't good enough for you what is it that you are looking for think of uh traits of the king of pentacles somebody who's strong who's generous helpful um and has a lot of discipline are those traits that you find attractive in a person are those traits that you have yourself or that you want to work on in the month of august i feel like i want to pull more tarot cards for you i don't know why let me see what else i can get for you one more card we have the ten of wands in reverse so like for some of you you needed to have this card even though it might not even have to do with your love life the ten of wands upright is a card of burdens or responsibility, taking your responsibility a little too seriously, um, hard, working hard, rising to a challenge. But when it's reversed, it, it signifies a struggle, a, a deep struggle, taking on way too much, being overworked. So for some of you, this is a sign that you need to not overwork yourself. Maybe for some of you, this could even be that you are... Um, dating too many people at once. That is also something that I just thought of. Also because with the Three of Pentacles, this can signify three people in a relationship like we already had here. There are multiple people involved. So for some of you, it might be that you are trying to date multiple people at once. And that is maybe not the intention for everybody who is in this relationship, who is involved. So... That is something else that, I, uh, that I'm getting. Well, since we have the Everyday Witch Tarot, let me see what the Everyday Witch Oracle can give us. For insight, guidance, for the month of August, tile number one for love. We have listening to wisdom. I feel like this very much goes together with the Ace of Swords, where it's a breakthrough of truths. Uh, listening to wisdom, listening to... Um, what other people have to say, maybe listening to second opinions, to what do others have to say. Also, you can, of course, listen to your own wisdom. What do you feel is wise to do in this situation? Uh, this card definitely signifies to me that you definitely have the answers um, in, in yourself already. You just need to find a way to get them out. Ooh, we have fire magic. So... It is, of course, going to be Leo season, especially by the time this goes up. Yeah, it will be Leo season. So channel some fire. If you like to do 
practices, magical practices, then it's a great time to do some fire magic, do some burning, leaving behind of things that no longer serve you. That is something that I'm getting. Uh, but yeah, you have here, with when I think of fire, I think of passion. So focus in the month of August on who lights your passion almost, who makes you feel great, who makes you feel confident. I feel like that is the, the type of person that you need. Not only somebody who is dependable and is a great leader, has discipline, is generous, but also somebody who makes you feel like you matter because you do matter and who makes you feel confident because you deserve to be confident. Okay, I want to pull an affirmation card. These are Dutch, so I will translate them for you. But I just feel like um, affirmations are really fun. So we're going to do a couple, I think. This is Opal. I heal myself of emotional uh, blockages. Encourages you to look, kind of look within, kind of reflect what is it that is blocking you. We already talked about what, there's something blocking you to get to your king of pentacles who is gonna be your, your person. Um, also what I didn't say is that the king of pentacles can also relate to somebody who has an earth sign like a, a earth sun sign like capricorn virgo taurus this um specific card corresponds with i believe it is taurus let me see yeah the king it, the king of pentacles is fixed earth which is taurus so that is something that might be interesting to know and we got amber i am surrounded by warmth and i feel protected that is so great. So if you do do some sort of witchy practice, then these are, um, what did I call them? Like affirmations. These are affirmations that you can use in your practice. Um, we have, of course, which I find interesting again, uh, a lot of these things correspond with the season of Leo coming up, which we are already in by the time you watch this video. Um, but warmth, um, there's a lot of warmth because it's, you know, on this side of the earth, at least it's summer, feel protected. Um, you need somebody who will give you that warmth and will make you feel protected, like you are safe when you are with them and not the idea, not, not you, you don't love just the idea of them, but you actually love them and they make you feel confident and they um, don't make you go through all of these emotional struggles. Of course, it's okay when you are in a relationship to fight, have a fight every now and then, but to really feel almost emotionally blocked, um, to not feel safe in their, um, in their presence, to not feel confident in their, in, their, um, in their presence, those are signs that you're not with the right person. So that is just some <laughs> guidance that I wanted to give you. Pile number one for the month of August regarding your love life. I really felt like this was mostly for people who were single. So, uh, but maybe if you are in a relationship, you still got something out of it that um, you should be with somebody who makes you feel that way. So yeah, if you want to see more pick a card readings, definitely subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. And you can book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me through the links in the description box and the pinned comment. I just want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi, pile number two. You chose the Good Karma Tarot deck with the Golden Healer Crystal. This is actually the crystal that I use to store this with. So let's see, pile number two. What guidance can you get for August for your love life? Let's see. I got Temperance, which is a card that is um, in between the Death and the Devil card. So it's like this, this balance, this safe space within the within the major arcana. And we have the Queen of Swords reversed. So I get two almost conflicting energies because the Temperance card is this balance, is this harmony, being in harmony. And this Queen of Swords is somebody who's very blunt. Um, it can represent somebody who is an air sign. 
who is uh, like um, a Libra, what do I have? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who can be kind of toxic, um, or maybe you are an air sign and you have been thinking very toxic thoughts about yourself, about your love life. And if you are not in the place of the temperance already, where you are just taking a little bit of time for yourself to find some balance and harmony within yourself before you jump into a relationship, then that is what you're gonna have to do or what this card encourages you to do for the month of August. The Queen of Swords is a card that encourages you to confront yourself. Um, it is, uh, she is somebody, the Queen of Swords reverse is somebody who is cold hearted, um, she's intol intolerant, um, but also easily influenced. So those are things that you need to, this is like a warning that um, it warns you to not do those things in the month of August. And the temperance card encourages you to be more patient maybe with yourself and to find more, what is the purpose of when you date somebody, what is the purpose for you? Is it just to have fun? Is it just to, or is it to uh, find somebody you wanna get married to? And it is, if that is the purpose, if that is the intention for whoever you're gonna date, is, is that the intention that they have as well? And um, maybe because we have the swords here, that is something that you're not communicating correctly and that is, uh, maybe has something to do with why you might be single right now or if you are in a relationship What is the purpose of your relationship for you and have you communicated that? Well, so you will know if you are on the same wavelength Let's see what else do you need to know for the month of August regarding your love life. We have the two of wands reverse Let me just finish shuffling Okay, I got this one and I got this one. Oh, okay. I'm getting a lot of messages regarding a specific person. So this might be for some of you who are in a relationship or some of you who are currently dating somebody. With the two of wands, no, I'm gonna start actually with the justice card. We have it reversed and that alludes to some sort of bias or some sort of almost dishonesty. Um, of course, it, like a lack of accountability, a lack of justice, of course, because it is reversed. So there is somebody who maybe did something who is not taking accountability, which is upsetting you, but it's also some sort of bias that you may look at somebody who does not deserve to be looked at in the way that you look at them. I hope that that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't put somebody up on a pedestal just because, just because, you know? Are you looking at somebody, are you with somebody who actually doesn't deserve to be with you? Especially since we have this King of Cups reverse, which makes me feel like they are great at emotional manipulation. They, they don't really know what they, want maybe they are very withdraw withdrawing almost like they are pushing you away and you might feel like you want to hold on be because you feel like they deserve that but maybe they don't maybe you need to let them go yeah that is especially because these two came up together you i feel like you've been putting somebody on a pedestal you've been hyping someone up who doesn't necessarily deserve to, to be hyped up in that way. And then we have the Two of Wands, which also refers, which can allude to fearing the unknown. There is, um, I feel like there is a decision that you need to make, whether it is breaking up with somebody or just not resuming um, the, the place where you are right now in the relationship and needing to cut it off, but you're kind of unsure about it. You're kind of doubting whether or not that is the right choice for you at this point or for, for the relationship. And you are afraid of, maybe you are afraid of being alone and you don't want to break this up because you will be alone and you, that maybe you were somebody who doesn't like to be alone. Somebody, some people thrive off of being alone. Some people love being single, but maybe you are not one of those people. And maybe 
give in to give into it just try to let it go let go of that fear and try to harmonize try to work on yourself before yeah, before you go into a relationship um, so you will have the tools to know whether or not somebody is good for you whether or not somebody is the right person for you or toxic because I feel like if you are with somebody right now they might not be like either they are emotionally manipulative to you they might be emotionally just not mature or um, and for some of you it could be that 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 is a deal breaker or for some of you it's something that you can help them with but you can only help them with it if they are open to receive help and if they are not then they are not and you need to look after yourself that is something that is very important um let's see i want to pull a card from the daily crystal oracle deck oh that was quickly oh wow it says agate get back into balance which was literally the first card that we got here with the temperance so this card also encourages you to get back into balance, to look after your own needs. And a relationship should be about balance. It should not be focused on one person. If you are in a relationship where the focus is all on them, it, it is an unbalanced relationship and you deserve more. You deserve more attention on yourself. It should be equal. And sure, sometimes if you are in a relationship and one person is going through something that the other person is not, then yeah, it, it's natural that the focus will shift more towards that person, but it shouldn't be that way all the time. And we get sunstone, take pleasure in the things you do. You should be happy in your relationship. You should thrive. You should not be, you should be emotionally content. You should feel balanced in your relationship. And if you are in a relationship that doesn't feel that way, that you don't really get a lot of pleasure out of, and it's not just sexual pleasure, it's just feeling worthy feeling great and not putting somebody on a pedestal who doesn't deserve it you should get a lot out of your relationship uh, at least as much as you put in so uh yeah and now i want to pull some cards for affirmations these are dutch so i will translate them for you these are just some affirmations that you can use because i feel like self-love is equally as important as you know, just regular love towards somebody else. Before you can love somebody else, you need to be able to love yourself. So we got two. We have, oh, I don't know how to pronounce these. Angelite, I think. I receive help from my angels and guides and I am open for guidance. That is great. Wow, I haven't really worked with this deck at all. I got it um, in a cosmic box that I am um, subscribed to. So you should... For the month of August, you should be open to receive guidance, to receive help. Maybe that is um, from a friend who is an air sign, maybe who will who will give it to you straight the way it is. Um, be it, maybe a little blunt about it, but maybe that is what you need right now. Um, be open to guidance. It could mean that you are encouraged to book a tarot reading with somebody to get more personal guidance. And we have granite, I think it's granite. I am powerful or I have strength and I can deal with every situation. That is kind of how I would um, translate this. That is such a powerful affirmation. If you take anything from this reading, I hope that it is this affirmation uh, that you are powerful, you have strength and you can handle every situation. You are strong enough to go through whatever is thrown at you, whatever you need to go through. So if, and, and it's especially powerful since I put it on top of the two of wands, the card of um, of indecision, not um, fear of, what was it? Fear of change, fear of the unknown, that you are powerful enough to handle that fear, to go through the change, to head into the unknown, uh, to maybe be alone for a little bit. You are strong enough to handle that. Yeah, so pile number two, that was your reading. I hope it resonated with you. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. You can also book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me through the links um, in my description box and in my pinned comments. 
If you want to see more videos on tarot and witchy DIYs, definitely subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi, pile number three. You chose the Angel Aura Quartz and the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck. So let's see for pile number three, what kind of guidance for their love life can we get? Ooh. Okay, so <clears throat> I have the Strength card, the Hierophant, and we have the Knight of Swords. Some of you might be starting, a, it's interesting because this is a love reading and what I get here is somebody who is motivated, who is unstoppable, who has strength to pull through, to uh, be a very dependable person. And then this card, the Hierophant, can either allude to religion, so some of you might be getting into a new religion, um, or it can be like a business, an institution. So some of you might be starting a business, which I find very interesting that this comes up in a love reading, but maybe th this is of significance for you, that some of you might be starting something that impacts maybe your current relationship or um, that impacts the fact that you're looking for a relationship. Maybe that is something that you're putting on the back burner. It could also be that this is just the kind of person that you are attracted to. Somebody, um, the, so the King of Knight of Swords can be somebody who has an air sign. So we'll have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So somebody who has a lot of air energy, air traits. Somebody who has a lot of inner strength. Somebody who is very dependable. That it might be the kind of person that you are um, interested in, as well as the Hierophant, somebody who's um, kind of spiritual, somebody who um, might be religious, or I don't know, somebody who is a little bit more traditional, or it could even be a, a teacher, or somebody who... I don't like to say to people that they should, um, I don't know, start a relationship with somebody who's their mentor, or their their teacher, but maybe they're not your mentor, they're not your teacher, but they're just a teacher in general. It can be something like that. So this might actually describe, I haven't seen this before in, in the other readings, it might actually describe the kind of person either that you are and that is going to help you find a relationship, or this might be the kind of person that you are attracted to. That is very interesting. So maybe this can help some of you. Um, who are currently in a relationship, who, who are dating somebody, who are looking for somebody. I don't see anything toxic here yet, especially with the strength card corresponds with the zodiac sign of Leo and the Hierophant with Taurus, but I want to focus on the Leo because we are in Leo season by the time this video goes out, um, so they might be a Leo or you might be a Leo, or you you might find this person within Leo season, which is next month, so the month of August, where we're doing this reading for. We have the Five of Swords reversed, and we have the Princess of Swords. Ooh, hmm. I almost feel like this could be you. We again have a, the, that sword, that air energy, which is interesting. So the Princess of Swords is somebody who is very curious, who has new ideas, who is kind of restless. Maybe you've been a little restless when it comes to your love life. You've been a little bit impatient. We do have the Knight of Swords here, which is also somebody who's very quick and action-packed. So you are somebody who doesn't like to sit still. And maybe you are somebody who hops from relationship to relationship. That could be the case for some of you or somebody who would just really like to be in a relationship. Uh, we also... Okay, so you are curious, you are open-minded, and you are somebody who is open-minded in a relationship, which is a good thing for you. And you need to be with somebody who is as open-minded as you are. And with the Five of Swords, this is reversed. So it's interesting because upright, it could be a loss, it could be bullying, it could be some kind of conflict. But having it be reversed, it feels like you're releasing a conflict. You're releasing the past or making amends with somebody this almost feels like it is an ex. I don't like to say to people that they should go back to their exes because usually the relationship ended for some reason or another. But maybe this person has grown or you have grown. The relationship between you has changed. And for some of you, it could either be that an ex is trying to get in contact with you. It could be that you are gonna get back together with an ex 
For some of you, it could be that you have grown so much that now that the ex is coming back, you're like, no, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> I'm strong enough to wait to find somebody who, um, who I can depend on, somebody who is as open-minded because we do have the Hierophant here, which is traditional. So we have traditional and open-mindedness. So it could be that your your ex might be a little bit more traditional while you are a little bit more open-minded and the two can kind of clash. So this is, that is something that you can expect for the month of August. Now I wanna pull an Oracle card. Let's see what we can get. We have desire. It might be kind of hard to resist your ex coming back. Maybe you have really romanticized what it would be like when your ex gets back. But I want you to really think about it. Is this really what you want? If they, or it doesn't have to be an ex, it can be just somebody else from the past. Is it really what you want? Do you really want to go back there? There was a reason that you guys broke up. Yeah, <laughs> it does have the little cancer sign here. So I don't know if that is of any significant, significant meaning for you. But uh, I want you to really think about what it is that you want, what it is what you want out of a relationship, and if that person can give that for you. We also have agreement. So this almost feels like there was some sort of disagreement um, within your relationship that, of course, made it so you can you you couldn't go on anymore. And this, I I don't know why I keep going getting back to the traditional and the open mindedness that somebody was more traditional, somebody was more open minded, and there was just a clash between that. And that is something that if you cannot. Um, if you cannot heal that, if you cannot get over that, if you cannot agree to that, then this just isn't the right relationship for you. And we have clarity that it is interesting that we have clarity because I really see this as an error, um, as an error trait, clarity, mental clarity. Uh, and we do have three out of the five cards that are source, that are air energy. So, the month of August is going to be a, a month where you're going to gain a lot of clarity on it, what it is that you want out of a relationship, what it is that you desire, and a, a lot of clarity on your personal, on your personal beliefs, on your personal, um, personal growth is something that comes to mind. But you're just going to gain a lot of clarity in the month of August. Of course, you're going to have to do the work for that. You can't just claim this as you're reading and not do the work, You, this is a card that encourages you to gain clarity and to do the work to get that clarity regarding your love life, regarding relationships um, for the month of August. Now I wanna pull some cards for affirmations. These are Dutch, so I will translate them for you. I got this deck in a, in a cosmic box. It's really fun. Ooh, okay, I got two. Oh, I don't know how to translate the names. I'll put them on the screen if I can find them. But this one says, I express my feelings easily and calm. Oh, I like that. So this almost tells me that um, you, since the um, a previous relationship or since a previous part in your love life, you have grown so much emotionally where you can now express your feelings calmly and easily and that is going to help you so much not just for your own personal growth for your own personal being but also in your relationships and we have this i let go of pain of the past and find fun or pleasure and magic in the now i love that so much we already had that par part of the past and this says i let go of the pain of the past so even if an ex comes back to you and you don't want to get back together, you can still release any pain that maybe the person or the relationship with the person has caused. So ooh, this was such a fun and powerful reading pile number three. I hope you resonated with me. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. If you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box and the pinned comments. Um, and if you want to see more pick a card readings, you can definitely subscribe to this channel. I do them all the time. I do have, oh, I haven't said those, this for the other pile, so you will know. But I'm actually doing another pick a card reading or just a, a reading for zodiac signs for the next video. So pile number three, you will know this. Let me know in the comments down below that 
you, you got through this part and you'll know what the next video is gonna be. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi, pile number four. You chose the Tarot of the Divine with the red calcite crystal. So we're gonna put the crystal here and I'm gonna shuffle and pile, what does pile number four need to know for their love life in August? Woo. Okay, okay, I got a couple. We have the Six of Cups, somebody from the past or somebody from, could be your childhood, could be an ex. We have the King of Wands, being very confident, a great leader, being somebody who's very dependable. And we have the Four of Coins in the middle with very protective energies. Um, this almost feels like it could be a past relationship since we do have the Six of Cups. It could, could be an ex, somebody from the past. It could also just be childlike. So there could be somebody in your life who's very, just acting very childish. Maybe you are in a relationship with somebody who's acting really childish or somebody who you're dating, who you feel like they are being childish. They are just not on the same level as you are emotionally. And you need somebody who's more mature, more like the, the, the king of wands. And with the four, of coins this is a card that it that indicates some sort of protecting yourself so i don't i don't really know where that plays in so i'm just gonna gonna pull a couple of more cards i want a clarifier for the four of coins and i got two <laughs> the strength card and the ace of swords are you feeling like this is somebody who you can depend on is this somebody who you find um i'm gonna move this up is this somebody who you get a lot of strength out of? Is this somebody who you can depend on? Are you feel like, do you feel like they are lying to you? Because the Ace of Swords is a card of breakthroughs of truth. So you might feel like, oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to sit with this for a little bit because there are a lot of things that are, that are happening right now. Okay, so besides being protective, this can also be somebody who's greedy, who is um, possessive almost, who's trying to control. So this could be that you feel like the person you are in a relationship with or the person who you are dating, they are a little bit more childlike or they are more connected to with like their inner child. Maybe you are not there yet or you are just not there. And you want them to be more mature, you want them to take more control or something like that. And you are almost trying to control them and trying to make them into something that they're not. And with the strength card, it also indicates um, that you should have a little bit more patience with them. And if you can't, if you can't bring it up to be more patient, that's okay. Uh, but maybe this is just not the right person for you. There is something that they are doing that maybe you find to be a little childish or you don't really like certain things they're doing. That's okay, but you, you either have to accept somebody for the way that they are. And if you can't, they are not the right person for you. And that is also okay. So with the uh, Ace of Swords, it's almost about making a decision something that is gonna come to light next month that's gonna help you make that decision, the decision, <laughs> decision. Yeah, I feel like you need to be a little bit more patient with them and try to let go a little bit of that control because you can't control somebody, you know, you shouldn't want to. I'm gonna pull some Oracle cards for you. <clears throat> I love, absolutely love this deck. Ooh, it says shark swim away from this situation. So. I definitely feel like you are trying to hold on, you are trying to have a grip, trying to control the situation as it is, but maybe you just need to swim away, you need to back off and see how, how, it's, how it's gonna go. How, yeah, what, what, what is gonna happen? What are they gonna do? And we have villain. You can always rewrite the story. If you are gonna let them sort of let them go or just gonna lose control. You have to see, you're gonna let go of control, I, I have to say. Um, you're gonna have to see how the situation will turn out. And if it's not gonna turn out well, then you can always rewrite the story. You can rewrite, um, you can write somebody else into your life. So you can look for somebody who is more 
the person that you feel like you need to be with if the, the current person is not that. Because not everybody who you are in a relationship with is gonna be your person. And sometimes that is a really hard truth to swallow and I totally get that. Um, but it, it only takes, if, if you're lucky, it only takes one time to find your person and you'll know. And if you are feeling, having doubts, if you are trying to hold on so much, I mean, look at her face. There is like fear in her face. Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit, but um, there is like fear on her face of letting go of the control of what she what she has and I feel like that is you. I want to pull one more card for, from this deck just because I love it so much. And it is confidence, it comes with time and practice. So I almost feel like because this is about your love life, this says that you need to feel confident in your relationship, you need to feel confident to let go of the control a little bit and trust that everything will work out. And again, if this is not the case for you in this relationship then this is not the relationship for you um, and a, a relationship where you do feel confident comes with time and not necessarily with practice but you know I mean in relationships that don't work out you learn a lot I don't feel like you can waste your time necessarily with a person or in a relationship because you always learn something it's almost like practice for when the real person for you comes into your life. So I really like that. And now I wanna pull some affirmations. This is a deck that I got in my cosmic box. So these are Dutch and I will translate them for you. We have smoky quartz. I am safe and protected. Yeah, you need to feel safe and protected in your relationship and you need to make the other person feel safe and protected in your relationship as well. We have tiger's eye. I am happy or yeah, I, ha oh, I have luck and determination with the projects that I start. So this almost encourages you to, uh, how do I want to say this, to push through any complications. So, or like right now you are having um, str you're struggling with letting go of the control, but you need to push through that and know that if luck is on your side, if this is the right person that you need to be with, then all will be well. I want to pull one more card. I'm kind of pulling a lot of cards for you guys, but I don't know, this is the last reading that I'm doing for this video, so it's fine. Oh, I already got this, but I like this. In th I got this in another reading. Um, I express my feelings easily and calmly. So... If there is something that is happening in your current relationship with the person you are dating, it is so important that you express your feelings. If you are having trouble letting go of the control, talk about it. Why are you having trouble um, letting go of the control? First, like go internal, maybe write it down in a journal. That rhymes. But find out for yourself why it is that you are having trouble letting go and then communicate that or parts of that with your with your loved one, with your person, um, because only growth can happen from there, whether it is the termination of the relationship, if that is what needs to happen, or you can both grow from it, learn from each other and have your relationship grow. So yeah, this was your reading, pile number four. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. We'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. If you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box and the pinned comment. And if you want to see more pick a card readings, witchy DIYs, all of that, you can find them on my channel. So subscribe if you want to see more of that. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.